it's me Van and welcome to my first Cinema 4D tutorial on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to extrude and pose the glow edit rig. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the eyes from the skin you're going to use. So I'm going to be using my skin, if I open it, it's my skin, uh, it has eyes so what you need to do is you want to open Photoshop so go ahead and do that. Alright so once Photoshop's open you want to open your skin file so go ahead and open it and you want to go ahead and zoom in on it. Um, so go ahead and zoom in on your uh, character. You can do that control plus minus uh, and, or you can just use the tool. So go ahead and do that and you want to take the rectangular marque tool and you want to select it on the eyes. Hold shift to select the other eye. And then you want to do is you got the brush tool. Put the size down a lot because uh, it's only a few pixels. Go ahead and select the colors of the face and just shade it in make it look like it's part of the skin so go ahead and do that okay so now when you're done with that you're gonna save it uh, I'm gonna you know, touch this up a little a little bit so you can do that uh, yes yeah, so do that I'll get rid of this here okay okay so you have that now you want to go to file export save for web save it as a PNG your desktop, save it as just vent skin, no eyes, let's name it no eyes, so go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and close Photoshop now, and you want to open Cinema 4D. We're now in Cinema 4D, and you want to install the Glow Edit Rig, so you want to go to Edit, Preferences, go to Open Preferences folder, uh, twice, go to uh, Library, and Browser, and you want to go ahead and drag the Glow Edit into that folder there. Now you're going to want to restart Cinema 4D. Alright, so now that you restarted Cinema 4D, you want to go to Content Browser, you want to go to Presets, and then you'll have your Glow Edit there. So you want to just double click that, and it's open in your Cinema 4D. The next thing you want to do is click on the skin thing here. You want to click the three dots, go to your desktop, and select the No Eyes folder file. Okay, so you're going to see the head still like that. So you want to click on this, the settings thing here at the top, go ahead and click that, and go to the head, put it on the skin and put the second layer on, put the extrude head on, and put these both on edit. So we're going to have both of these here. You want to go to layers and you want to unlock the mesh, the subdivisions, and the spine locks. Uh, once you do that, you can extrude. So what you want to do is select the live selection tool, select what you want to extrude, and go to your polygon thingy, your polygonal polygons tool. So go ahead and do that. And you want to select everything that's the face, so just select the face, nothing more than the face. And... Okay, so once you've done that, hit delete. And you can see it's going to look like this. So go ahead and hit U and then I on your keyboard, then M and R, and hit set. Make sure the strength is on 100. And go ahead and hit D on your keyboard, put the maximum angle to 91, and put the offset to 3. And my keyboard's not in English. <laughs> okay, so put it on three. Do the same thing. Hit U I U I M R M R and then the offset the strength to a hundred. So and when, okay, so that's it. So you wanna go to your selection tool, live selection, uh, right click it and go to brush tool and go ahead and put the strength to fifty percent and the radius to fifty percent and you can kinda brush the hair a bit like that. Just make it look somewhat decent or better, I guess. Um, you can also liquefy in Photoshop, but um, this is not what this tutorial is for. And as you can see, the eyes here are a bit high, so you can go ahead and lower those by going like that. And then you can lower the pupils by going like that. You can also change the pupil color by clicking that and then selecting the color of the people that you want. So you can go ahead and select a color on the skin if you want. So you go ahead, um, so you can go ahead and do that. It's pretty self-explanatory there. You can also change the eyebrow color. So we can do that. Change the eyebrow color. You can change it to match the hair. So you can change that to like that or something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so again, go to your live selection tool. Select your live selection. Click on the hat layer and go to the polygon tool. So you want to select everything in the hat. So go ahead. Okay. hit U and I and then delete everything. 
So again, we're gonna hit UI then MR to fix the subdivisions and we're gonna wanna extrude so we'll go ahead and select everything on the hair here and select up here. There might be a glitch so I'm not gonna select this side over here quite yet and you wanna do 91 put offset 3 UI MR and then get all straightened out. So you're gonna do the same thing on this side, uh, select it all, D U I M R and then set and then you're gonna wanna select this part here and go ahead and do that. It's gonna give it a, a bit of a cooler look. Um and we'll just make it look a bit fancier and smoother, I guess. It looks really good in my opinion. It everybody started doing it in like twenty fifteen, like late twenty fifteen and it's still used today surprisingly. Some people do it a, a bit more than others do, but I mean it's still pretty cool. But I don't, I don't know how long people did it, but because I wasn't in the community for that long, I joined really late 2015, so, and that's when I saw people doing it, I don't know, I mean, smaller designers in that time didn't do it like that, but now everyone does, they just, like, shoot it once, but, I mean, if you didn't know how to do it, now you do, so, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and put this back on normal, so, yep, right there, you can, uh, go ahead and liquefy that if you want to. Uh, not like my uh, brush tool okay, if you want to so go ahead and do that I don't know it's cool you can do it on the hood in the back here so you can like put that down like that or something it looks pretty cool I like it looks nice okay so next thing you want to do is you want to do the arms so go ahead and then again use your live selection and you hit UL on your keyboard to do a loop like select thing I didn't tell you that before but you know I did so Go ahead and hit D. You want to put the offset to, to you want to put the offset to one. And I changed my language again. Oops. Put it to one. Hit U L. Select this part. Put it to one again. And then U L. Select this part and this part. And again. And then U L. Select this part and then go ahead and extrude that. Just makes it look smooth and makes it look really nice you can also use the knife tool if you want but this is just like easier if you don't really like cutting it and you can't cut it evenly this is the best way you can do it okay. so for the body i'm gonna turn the subdivisions off because that's how I like to do things because it'll look weird. It's I'm too lazy to cut it. So go ahead and uh, get the plus. Go to meshes. Go to body mesh body, and then turn off the subdivisions. Okay, so now we can select the body. So go ahead and select the body, and then do that. Hit UI. Select the whole thing. Just unmark that area up there. Uh, one, and then hit D. Okay, so what you want to do now is we can extrude like this area here kind of like the area of the shirt here and then go to go to do that and you're gonna do it again and do it like that hit one and then you can do it like up in this up there right there or something I guess I could go cool and do it down here as well because why not okay so that's that extruded and then you want to do the feet Again, you're going to turn the subdivision off, go to meshes, go to legs, right leg, left leg, open those, and then turn the subdivision off. You can close the rig, select the legs, and UL, and you're going to select everything on the shoe, and then hit D, and put the 1, because 1 is fine for my skin. You might want to change it up a bit for other skins. Um, and there we go. So this tutorial isn't gonna apply for every single skin you do because some skins aren't gonna have the arms like this as simple They might be more complicated, but You should be fine with these same techniques that I use. I'm gonna go move the mouth down a bit So I'm not gonna use the mouth if I were edit it in Photoshop. So yeah Okay, so now we can work on posing the first thing I'm gonna do is you wanna I'm gonna make the foot controls bigger because they're not even big and they don't really show so I'm just gonna go in here and then 
makes them a bit bigger. And I can select it. Okay, so we're gonna select that, make it a bit bigger. There you go. And now we're ready to start posing. So if you have trouble coming up with po poses, you can go to Google. You can search up maybe like um, ninja pose or something like that. And you can go to images and then you can maybe do something like this, which I'm gonna try to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna select the feet. You can go ahead and select the feet. So you're gonna make a foot like this. So and then of course you're gonna wanna select this like joint here and make it go down like that. So we can have the leg. We're gonna have this leg going out like that then. So go ahead and do that make it going out like this okay so you can do that and then the body's kind of bent like forward a bit so go ahead and do that if you don't want to if you want to come up with something original in a, uh, something you can do yourself you can go ahead and do that if you want but some people choose really to not to do that some people like to look up poses because it can be easier if you if you will but we're gonna select this control here and we're gonna you know we're gonna bend um the wrist here so we're gonna bend the wrist we're gonna bend it that way so we have this here okay so we're gonna bend this a little bit back more because it's kinda how it is I guess but <coughs> we're gonna bend the head this and then, you know, mess with this arm a bit more okay if this pose doesn't look good as a minecraft render you can like you know make it a bit better by right? you can like select things and you can just basically mess around with things to make it look decent so you can go ahead and do that Okay, so now what we can do is we can you know, rotate this a bit like that and say you can bend that like that and we can go ahead and get a sword. If you have a sword rig you can use it, but I'm just gonna use one of the next side of the swords. The rig is not free, so you can buy it, the link will be in the description. But there are plenty of sword free sword rigs that you can use if you want them, but yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a sword there. You can use the default sword if you want, but I mean, it doesn't look the best, so yeah. Okay. okay, so now we have that there. We can do like a facial expression. So let's add a camera. Let's select that and we'll make it on a, like a wide angle. I guess maybe like a wide angle. I don't know. Yeah, wide angle looks fine. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So we can rotate the head a bit more to make it look a bit better. So go ahead and do that, and maybe like I don't know, maybe like make the head like this or something. Okay. So now we can do a facial expression. So go ahead and create a camera. Uh, go to the eyes here, you can move the eyebrows and stuff, so let's go to do that. So select this control here to like bend eyebrows and stuff. So go ahead and we're gonna make it angrier and then use this control to move the eyebrows down or something. You can use this control here to make the eyes look a bit more angry or something if you want so go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and change the second layer to edit so we can edit the face a little bit better let's go ahead and click on this here and we're gonna put it down like this and then we're gonna make it angry and we're gonna put the head on the edit as well so we can move this eyebrow down a bit 
Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then you can move both things back to normal. Put the camera on. And then you have something a bit somewhat cool, I guess. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, move the hand here so the sword looks a bit better. So you can go ahead and, I don't know, go like, I don't know. We're going to try to put the sword like in front instead of in the back. So go ahead and move the sword in the front. So. Okay, so that looks not bad. Make the sword a bit smaller. Alright, there we go. So we have the sword like that. Let's go ahead and move the leg maybe a little bit. Okay. Alright, so we have our pose there, and if we want to add a light room, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to add Monday's light room in a second. got to fix the head though, because, you know, not really the best head space right there. So go ahead and go like this. Okay, so that's fine. So we're going to add Monday's light room. I have Monday's light room here, so go ahead and open that, and then... We go to the window and get this control C and then control V into one day's light room, hit yes, and then go ahead and Okay. And we can render this out. It's gonna be dark, a bit dark I guess, because you know. And you can uh, play with the lights, so I'm gonna play with the lights and I'll see you back in a second. Alright guys, so I got some decent lights here. I'm gonna go ahead and render this out. I'm just gonna render it out in 1080p because why not? you can do it in 4k if you want, 8k, I don't know, if you want like 720p, it all really depends on your PC, so this thing is going to be tutorial, and then just going to render it out. Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Any support is appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.